welcome back i'm pratap here today is the 21st may 2024 in this video let us find the stocks near demand and supply zones for all the time frames we will also identify daily and 75 minutes high liquidity demand and supply zones and at the end of the report let us generate the stop buffers based on daily atr so before the generation of these reports an announcement please if this is your first visit to our channel please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action all the training lessons are available at our neo stock youtube channel so at our channel click on this community tab then you will get access to this post this post is having a link that will take you to the playlist having all the training lessons just click on this youtube uh, playlist link i'm clicking on this link now we get into a playlist supply demand zone price action course this playlist is having uh, 58 training videos so far you just uh, scroll down to the bottom of this space here starting from lesson 1.1 all the training lessons are available in an order please go through all these lessons one by one and uh, strengthen your skills related to supply demand zone price action i have also provided the link to our telegram channel in this youtube video description so from the description please join at our telegram channel it will be helpful to you each time when we release a new youtube video we'll provide an update in the channel and also any other important updates also we will provide now let's get into the report generation with the help of neo stock software supply demand zone top down analysis strategy builder so let us generate uh, the stocks near demand and supply zone starting from the yearly time frame until 5 minutes mostly yearly and half yearly time frame you may not be finding the stocks in near demand and supply zones at this point of time but anyway let's once verify because sometimes if the prices reach we may find it. but they are very slow to get into those zones so i am selecting entry time frame as a yearly and let us find the stocks near yearly demand zone no stocks are available i am going back for yearly time frame let us find the stocks near yearly supply zone so as i said there are no stocks are available i am going back changing the time frame to half yearly and let us find the stocks near half yearly demand zone so no stocks are available and half yearly time frame let us find the stocks near half yearly supply zone so no stocks so that means for both yearly and half yearly there are no stocks near demand and supply zones the reason is most of these stocks are inside the demand zone or inside the supply zone so let me go back i'm changing the time frame to quarterly let us find the stocks near quarterly demand zone so currently one stock is there near quarterly demand zone but it is a peers demand zone see i'm giving you only few seconds time to watch the report and then move on to the next report so if you want to study any of these reports please pause the video then uh, once you complete your study then you can proceed with in case if you doesn't know how to understand this report all these columns their values abbreviations if you are not aware i request you complete our training lesson 21.1 that is part 1 of lesson 21 in that video i have explained each and everything related to this reports in detail so please go through that video in case if you did not complete that lesson okay i am going back for quarterly time frame let us find the stocks near quarterly supply zone six stocks are filtered and these six stocks are near quarterly supply zone so let me go back changing the time frame to monthly let us find the stocks near monthly demand zone five stocks are near to the monthly demand zone let me go back for monthly time frame let us find the stocks near monthly supply zone here also five stocks are filtered which are near to the monthly supply zone so i'm going back changing the time frame to weekly let us find the stocks near weekly demand zone 
four stocks are filtered near to the weekly demand zone so i'm going back for weekly time frame let us find the stocks near weekly supply zone so we have good number of stocks are filtered near to the weekly supply zone nifty bank nifty media nifty public sector unit bank all these three sectors are near to the weekly supply zone let me scroll down total 17 stocks are filtered these 17 stocks are near to the weekly supply zone okay i'm going back changing the time frame to daily entry time frame is daily let us find the stocks near daily demand zone so seven stocks are filtered let us try to identify the high liquidity demand daily demand zones from this list it seems yeah, we don't have any daily high liquidity daily demand zones from this list okay so i'm going back for daily time frame let us find the stocks near daily supply zone three stocks are filtered and no high liquidity daily supply zones from this list so that means in daily time frame we did not find any high liquidity zones so i'm going back i'm changing the time frame to 125 minutes let us find the stocks near 125 minutes demand zone so 10 stocks are filtered near to the 125 minutes demand zone so let me go back changing the time frame to i mean for 125 minutes time frame let us find the stocks near 125 minutes supply zone so eight stocks are filtered near to the 125 minutes supply zone i'm going back changing the time frame to 75 minutes entry time frame is 75 minutes let us find the stocks near 75 minutes demand zone four stocks are filtered let us identify if there are any high liquidity demand zones from this list oh we identified one high liquidity demand zone from this list page industries this is a fresh zone and odd enhancer score is also 14 that means is it supporting a bullish trade setup check in 75 minutes a bullish trade setup report that is a weekly income trade report please check if this stock is available generally you have such a high score if it is supported in bullish trade setup but rare scenarios it will be missing but anyway this is a uh, identified as a high liquidity because it is a fresh zone you need to fine tune the zone if you are able to identify a fresh fine tuned 5 minute zone then only you have to plan the trade otherwise the zone will be violated because in lesson 4 lesson 16 in your training lesson sir you already learned when a zone will be violated Okay, from this uh, list we have identified one seventy-five minutes high liquidity demand zone. So I'm going back. In seventy-five minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near seventy-five minutes supply zone. Only three stocks are filtered near to the seventy-five minutes supply zone. Are there any high liquidity supply zones? we have only one stock identified high liquidity supply zone the mother son is having but it is already tested six times 13 rejections from this zone so you need to identify a fresh fine tuned 5 minute zone otherwise you can't plan a trade in this zone if there is no fresh fine tuned 5 minute zone this zone might be violated so we have identified only two high liquidity zones from 75 minutes time frame one is the demand zone and another one is the supply zone 
Okay, I'm going back. Changing the time frame to 25 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 25 minutes demand zone. Only five stocks are filtered. I'm going back. For 25 minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near 25 minutes supply zone. Five stocks only filtered again. Let me go back. Changing the time frame to 15 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 15 minutes demand zone. Six stocks are filtered. Let me go back. For 15 minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near 15 minutes supply zone. So five stocks are filtered again. In, sorry. Again we repeated this. Okay. Let me go back changing the time frame to five minutes. Let us find the stocks near five minutes demand zone. Five stocks are filtered. Even here also. I'm going back. For five minutes time frame, let us find the stocks near five minutes supply zone. Now here also five stocks are filtered. Okay, these are the stocks near demand and supply zones for all the time frames and also we identified uh, uh, high liquidity zones in 75 minutes time frame. Now in the final report, we will uh, generate the stop buffers based on daily ATR. Let me generate. So this is the daily ATR and remaining all are 15%, 10%, 5%. And you know to which time frame you have to use uh, these columns. First 17 in this list are indices, sectorial indices, remaining all are equity stocks taken from f and category. So I'll be scrolling uh, this list down and uh, I'll be giving you only few seconds time each time when I scroll down. Any of the stock you want to refer, please pause the video. So let me scroll the list down. So this is the end of the report. I hope this information will be useful to you for our further study and analysis. Let us all meet again in our next video. Thank you.